Hello everyone, my mechanic here. Today I'm going to show you how to test your fuel pressure with one of these fuel pressure testers. Alright, so you need to locate your straighter valve on your fuel rail. So, on this particular vehicle, it's right back in here, and I'll show you here. Let me turn my light on. It's right, it's right there, see that little cap? You're gonna remove the cap so you can screw on your your tester. So just look along your fuel rail and you should see it on your vehicle. Like I said, it might be a different spot. Just look along your fuel rail and you'll find it. So remove that cap and then screw in your tester. And then take this. This hose here is for when you're done testing it. You're gonna have fresh fuel oil that comes out from your, your tester. So just put that on, you know, maybe put it into a bucket or something so you don't get gas everywhere. And then uh, I'm gonna get, take the key and we're gonna put it in the on position and see what kind of pressure we get. Alright, so as you see there, when I turned the key on, I didn't turn the truck on, I just turned the key to the on position. And you see that the gauge jumped up to about 55-ish. And you want it to be between about 50 to 60, that's about normal, that's about what you want it to be. Also, is you can just leave it plugged in, um, just turn the key back off again, and see how long it'll hold the pressure for. So, you want, it should hold pressure for like a good minute, um, and not just fall back down. If it falls back down, you know you got a leak somewhere or something's not right. But you want it to hold pressure. I see here... It's already been a little while and it's holding pressure pretty good, so we know that that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and start the truck and see what kind of pressure it has while it's running. So as you saw there, it had good pressure while it was running. It was up to about 55, between 55 and 60, so that's all good. So if you are having a problem where it doesn't have good pressure while it's running, you might have a leaky injector or something like that. Um, you want to have good pressure at all times while it's running, and also you just turn your pump on. So that is right there. It's how you test your fuel pressure. Um, maybe you have a, a leak in your system you're trying to find, or, or to see if you have a leak in your system, or to see if your injectors are leaking extra fuel that they're not supposed to, or you know, or maybe a clogged uh, filter might cause it not have good to have you know bad pressure. So that's how you test your pressure. Oh, also to uh, Obviously, remember I said put this onto a bucket or something. So I got my, my hose down there into my bucket, and then just just uh, press your button there, and it'll get rid of all your gas in your tester. Do that before you um, take off the tester because you'll get gas everywhere. So, and also when you take off your pressure tester there, make sure you take a rag underneath there that way you don't drip fuel everywhere because that wouldn't be good. There you have it. How to test your fuel pressure? You can buy these testers at your local auto parts store. But uh, I also put a link in the description for you if you want to go check it out and order one online. All right, y'all. If this video is helpful, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to see all my latest videos. I do tour reviews, do videos like this, little tips like this on how to check your fuel pressure. I do major repairs, so all kinds of stuff. Also, be sure to hit the little notification bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified whenever a new video comes out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.